Hello, my name is Dr. Mark Cavanaugh, and I want to start off this presentation with a thank you to the KVCC Foundation for its ongoing support of KVCC. I've been with this college for 23 years, and I have lots of experience of seeing the impact of your work on our institution, and particularly on our students, who otherwise may have not been able to come to college. So thank you for that. In addition, I want to thank you for the opportunity to make this presentation to you in this format. I'm currently traveling out of state, and our timing didn't quite work out for me to be there in person, although I would have really liked to be there in person, uh, and I thank you for that as well. So to start off, I want to tell you a little bit about myself, and then we can move on to my proposal. As I said, my name is Mark Cavanaugh. I'm the Department Chair of Social Sciences and Psychology at KVCC. I've been there for 23 years. My educational background is a master's in counseling, a master's in instructional technology, PhD in educational psychology, and the great honor of establishing and being the director of the Center for Civic Engagement at KVCC. This organization has been at KVC since I established it in 2003. We support the civic mission of the college with connecting the college to the community, very much embedded into our DNA now, particularly since the transition from a technical college to a community college. In essence, I support the integration of service, volunteerism, and civic engagement and learning into the curriculum across different programs. So individuals, faculty, and students who are interested in engaging in the community as part of their learning, we provide support for that to happen. We did win a National Collaboration Award several years ago, and to date, our students that have gone out into the community and provided community service, and service learning, and volunteering, have contributed $964,267 of value added to the community. So it's a process of giving back, our students giving back, faculty giving back. Not only is this a great part of our curriculum, but it's a great way for us to say thank you to the community that supports us. The initiatives that we have going on today are what bring me to you today. Increasingly, our accreditation is asking for documentation of service learning and civic engagement. We recently established the Barbara Woodley Civic Scholars Award. Very, very important to me personally, uh, as Barbara was uh, president when I first started, and it's always been an inspiration for me in terms of integrating uh, civic engagement into the curriculum. We have deep partnerships with several hundred organizations, but very close and very relevant and pertinent today relationships with REM, Kobe College, and Main Campus Compact. And it should be noted, Main Campus Compact is the state division of a national organization called National Campus Compact. And Barbara Woodley was a founding member of that. So member colleges work together to coordinate their efforts to engage their students in the community, and it's been a very, very rich partnership with them ever since the Center for Civic Engagement began. Now we coordinate other initiatives with KVCC now. There are externships, internships, a growing body of individuals coming in for workforce development, all of that data, all of this information. We need a tracking solution. That tracking solution is a software called GivePulse. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about this software. Uh, it's, it's based in the cloud. We subscribe to it. And what it allows us to do is to have students, faculty, external partners, and even Colby, Rem, participate in this one catchment area where all things, volunteer service learning, and even job creation 
can be all founded and connected so these individuals can communicate with one another. Now, specifically, GivePulse, ex extremely robust data tracking and reporting out to all of the people involved, provides us with a way of communicating with students, faculty, community partners, administration, and it provides us the data we need to assess the viability, the efficacy, and the effects, both on our, well, in, in our students, our faculty, our curriculum, our communities, in individual partnerships. Everybody is impacted by this, and this data gathering software will allow us to do that. It will, we will be able to support service learning, volunteering, internships, and jobs within the community. We'll be able to provide service transcripts to our graduating students, a very important part of their resume building. And we will be a leader, KVCC will be a leader in the MCCS, the Maine Community College System, engaging in this level of data gathering for this kind of project. I have known about GivePulse for several years. They've been around for a very long time, probably one of the older versions of software for this specific purpose, and very interestingly, they were the best price. They were the best feature, best return on our investment for this particular piece of software with all the different pieces of software that we looked at in this process. This is what it looks like for the University of Georgia. You get a custom-made page, and interestingly enough, the software not only allows you to connect students and faculty to ongoing service availability and projects and opportunities in your local community, it connects to the national database of all the individual campuses that use this particular software. So it allows us to engage students in possible, who are living out of the state, and it also allows us to engage students who are taking courses online in researching this particular piece of software, I was exposed to some opportunities for online service that would have been of great benefit, and it continues to be of great benefit based on our recent experience in these past years of the pandemic. Now, GivePulse is not cheap. We are asking that the foundation support us with $11,500. That $11,500 is to purchase, install, and integrate into our systems for the first year. KVCC has committed to supporting GivePulse in the future. This is not an ongoing expense that we're asking for. KVCC has made that commitment. I'm very glad that we have done so. So that ends my uh, presentation to you. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you questions, and I look forward to the opportunity that we might be able to meet and discuss this if that's what you would like. But I thank you for your time, and I thank you for this, again, this opportunity to meet with you in this manner and for all that you do for KVCC. Thank you very much.